Welcome to my Windows 8.1 Spring Update 1 Final Bits and Tutorial. Most of the features in the Windows 8.1 Spring Update have to do with the Metro Start Screen and the Metro App. So we'll look at the Start Screen first. And left hold control left click allows multiple selections now. Right click has a drop down menu now for various things. So you can right clicking on the, just the background you can name groups now. Up here we got the power option now. So we got sleep shut down restart. When you click the search it brings up search on the right side. We'll open up a metro app. We'll open up the weather one. So the first thing you'll notice is the black bar at the top that auto hides. You move your mouse to the top on the left side. You got split right, split left, minimize and close. On the right side, you have minimize and close buttons over here. Open up a second app. When you move the mouse to the very bottom, it brings up the the taskbar. I kind of wish the taskbar and the uh, black bar here would be permanent, not auto hiding, because I absolutely hate bars that auto hide. I so I just kind of hope this would automatically stay here, this would automatically stay here, and then the app would resize itself inwards would be a better one. But it's a good start for now. So top split right. Split left. You can do this. You can still drag down and close the app. Wait for it to. There you go. And then it's closed. Or you could click close here and it's gone. You could click close there and it's gone. Another thing to notice when I open up an app, let's say PC settings, because I'm going to show you a few things in PC settings that were done. It's now had you can pin it. You can pin it to the taskbar now. The th the thing with PC settings now, they got more settings. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in this video, but under customization, they got these smaller ones now. Uh, most of the control panel is in here now too. But under your settings, you can go, let's say, customize your display, and then underneath it says change your display settings, PC, and device, plus display. So they got sub one, so when you, like, corner navigations, if you want more corner navigation settings, they actually add it in here now. So you click here, then it goes to your corner and edges. So the, um, the control panel has been revamped. The metro control panel has been revamped, as well as it gives a link to the normal control panel. So, for the most part, that's that right there is what Spring Update 1 basically does, plus a lot of new codes, and the operating system runs a bit quicker and uses less resources on mode up. But for the most part, that is the Spring Update. It's mostly designed for Metro apps and keyboard and mouse users, mainly. So that's a tutorial for Windows 8. This next bit you don't have to watch if you don't use Modern Mix because I use a program called Modern Mix which does which allows me to, you know, put the Metro app in a window mode. I'm showing this because I want to show what needs to be fixed with Modern Mix. So if you have Modern Mix installed, the target zone is here on full screen window mode. the target is at the top corner in window mode and when you have it in window mode you can't bring up the top bar when you have it in full screen window mode you just move the top and top bar overlays the other bar which is kind of pain in the ass so that needs to be fixed um, in full screen mode this this is what definitely needs to be fixed for my uh, modern mix so on full screen mode you move to top but when you try and hit the X the moment you try to hit the X, the, the overlay for a modern mix covers it. So you can hit minimize, but the moment you try and close it, modern mix menu comes up, which 
is kind of a problem. This this should just be dropped a little bit so that it doesn't interfere with the uh, the X, the target X in modern applications. So that's the only real issue I noticed with modern mix and Windows Spring Update 1.0, uh, Spring Update 1.